Are you thinking about living on Bainbridge Island, Washington, and we're wondering about the difference between living on Bainbridge Island versus Seattle? So does everybody. There's a big difference, and we're gonna show you what that is. Hi, I'm Lori Sinclair, and welcome to another episode of Bainbridge Redefined, where we talk about everything Bainbridge Island living. Every day we help people relocate and move around our area. So if you have any additional questions at any time, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask. My number is listed below, or you can reach me by clicking the link somewhere around this video. The first place we're going to start is explaining the difference of lifestyle based upon what you're looking for. Bainbridge Island tends to be known for its small town feel and close knit community. On the other hand, Seattle is probably a better fit for someone looking for a bustling city life and all of the excitement that comes along with it. Socially, Bainbridge Island offers cultural activities such as museums, live theater and music, as well as some fabulous locally owned and operated restaurants where Seattle is the main business district in the region and home to several professional sports teams. Now let's go into real estate and what you get for your money. Now, Bainbridge Island tends to be a little bit more expensive than Seattle. The average three bedroom single family home in Bainbridge Island is roughly 1.18 million, while in Seattle, it's about $839,000. A two bedroom in Bainbridge Island is roughly about a million, while Seattle, you're looking at closer to $685,000 on average. Now, if you are looking to rent in the area, you can plan on spending for the average two or three bedroom single family home on Bainbridge Island between $2,500 to $5,500 per month. While in Seattle, you'll be looking at between $2,500 to $3,500 on average. So now we're going to talk about the overall location between the two, because if you need to be near work, you probably have questions on commutes or travel. If you're living on Bainbridge Island, you're gonna need to take the ferry across to Seattle. Now you can drive on the ferry with your car, or there are several park and ride locations around the island, as well as convenient parking right at the ferry terminal. The ferry will take about 35 minutes to cross and will take you directly into the central business district. If you're living on the Seattle side, then commute times can be drastically different depending on where you're living. Uh, there is a lot of congestion on I-5 and quite often surface roads are a better option. The airport is roughly a half an hour from downtown Seattle, so if you're living on Bainbridge, you will need to add on time for the ferry. If having access to natural areas and a more rural setting is what's important to you, then Bainbridge Island is probably a better fit. But if you're looking for the busy city life, then Seattle is probably better suited for you. Well, I hope this video gave you some great ideas on the difference between living on Bainbridge Island versus Seattle. If you should have any additional questions about Bainbridge Island, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask. And don't forget to subscribe for more information about living on Bainbridge Island. And check out some of my other videos and maybe visit my website at bainbridgeredefined.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Lori Sinclair, Managing Broker with Bainbridge Homes Real Estate.